Guys, I have an incredible life-changing computer tip for you today. It is going to completely change the way you use the computer forever and for the better. When I discovered this trick, I was surprised that no one had ever mentioned it before and I've never even seen any articles written about it. I assume it's some kind of secret forgotten feature or something built into Windows, but now you'll be able to take advantage of it. And when I say incredible tip, I really mean it. You'll be completely amazed at how much time this tip is going to save you, probably hours a day, and you can use it at work to be more productive and get a higher raise or even just get your normal work done way faster and then have extra free time. The possibilities are truly endless, so definitely stick around, you won't want to miss this. This tip is also really easy to do. You might assume that such a useful trick might be difficult to implement and be very complicated, especially considering how obscure it is, but it's really not. It just takes a couple of minutes. Honestly, this tip is so useful that I think computer manufacturers and the big bankers on Wall Street struck a deal to keep this secret away from the public so that the mega corporations can keep the trick to themselves. That would explain why it's still in the operating system. I wanted to be sure that this trick was the real deal, so I I've been using it for months and testing it, doing before and after experiments, collecting data, and even sharing the tip with a few select industry confidants to test themselves. And I have concluded it is indeed as amazing as I first suspected. And now I'm blowing the doors wide open on this awesome secret for all of you to see. Okay, so by now I'm sure you're hyped up, so I won't keep you waiting any longer. But real quick, I just have to ask that you like the video if you enjoy it, because the YouTube algorithm and the big corporations and bankers on Wall Street will probably try to suppress it. So we have to be sure to be able to overcome that. So again, I ask you not only to click the like button, but also smash the like button. In fact, I would prefer it if you completely completely annihilated the like button. Hover your mouse over the like button, grab the biggest hammer you own, and smack your mouse or keyboard with it to press send on that like. Or if you prefer, you don't have to destroy the like button, but rather lightly tap it. This might be better if you're on a tablet because you won't risk damaging it, therefore not being able to watch any more of my future tip videos. You can just ever so slightly press the like button, just enough to barely register on your tablet, so lightly that the first time it might not even register. So be sure to look and make sure that the like went through. If not, do it as many times as necessary, or alternatively, smash the like button like I said before. I'm talking nuke that like button from orbit, leaving a 50 kilometer radius crater around the epicenter, leave nothing left, and even scorch the earth around that like button so it completely destroys the surrounding infrastructure for decades. If there is even a single pixel remaining of that like button, it's not good enough. And by now, I trust that you have sufficiently clicked the like button so we can finally get to what you've been waiting for. So sit down at your computer and be ready to follow along because I'm ready to give you this super cool computer trick. So be sure your computer is on and ready to go. If you aren't sure how to turn on your computer, usually there will be what's called a power button with a symbol that looks like this. If you press it and nothing happens, your computer may not be plugged in or your power supply switch may not be on either. After you press the power button, it may or may not light up, but either way, you should still be able to hear some fans or other components activate inside your computer so you know it's on. You'll also need to be sure all your usual peripherals are connected, such as your mouse. If it's a wired mouse, find the other USB connector end. Fun fact, this type of connector is called a USB type A connector and was actually created way back in 1996 when USB was first released. There are several types of USB connectors you've probably seen and they can be either classified as host connectors or device connectors. The term host means the computer or device that initiates all the communication across the USB cable, whereas the device only receives and responds. This is the reason type A connectors are almost always seen on computers, but never on devices like printers or any other peripherals. There are several other types of host connectors, but type A is the most well known. Devices like printers instead use a device side connector, of which there are also several you may be familiar with. For example, printers often take a USB type B connector, phones and other devices may take a USB micro B connector or mini B, all of which are device connectors. I'm getting a bit off track, but that should be pretty interesting. Okay, so now that your mouse is plugged in, also make sure that your keyboard is plugged in. This may also have a USB type A connector, so you already know what to do with that. Oh, and this reminds me, fun fact about keyboards, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I wouldn't want to get off track, we gotta get to that computer tip. Of course, before we do, we need to ensure that your monitor is set up so that you can actually use the computer. 
Just like your computer itself, there will likely be a power button of some kind on your monitor to turn it on. It may be on the bottom hidden away. If it turns on, but there's no picture, you probably just forgot to connect the display cable. Now your monitor may support several kinds of cables, but the most common are either HDMI or DisplayPort, and either will do. HDMI looks like this and is often used for TV peripherals such as game consoles and cable boxes, while DisplayPort is mainly used in computers. You need to get a monitor cable of your choice and connect it from the monitor into the graphics card of your computer. Just look for the matching port and it should be handled automatically. When the monitor turns on, you should be good to go. Okay, so at this point, you're completely ready. You're sitting at your computer, your computer is turned on, your mouse, keyboard, monitor, all connected and working. So finally, here's the tip. On the desktop, hold down the Windows key and press the following secret key combination. Oh crap, guys, I completely forgot. I have an appointment I have to leave for. This will have to be finished later. So be sure to subscribe for part two where I'll definitely give you the tip right after explaining the history of computers. Oh, and by the way, April Fools.